Spring came to the island of Sodor, and with it brought new changes, such as the addition of the private engine of the Duke and Duchess of Boxford, known as Lady. Don't you get sick of it? Sick of what? The way they treat us around here, you know what I mean? The favoritism towards steam engines. I'm getting really sick of the way they treat that lady. There's nothing special about her, and they love her. Doesn't it make you cross? No, I don't have a problem with anyone. I like it here. I don't think there's an issue at all. I think if anyone has a problem here, it's you. And if you'll excuse me, I have to be going now. I really need to finish my work. Oh, come on. Don't you see the way they look at her? I mean, have they ever given you that kind of attention? That's because Lady is polite and kind. I'm just a shunter. I don't expect admiration. I just do my job. Well, I guess you're betting for the other side. But one night, everything changed. That evening, a big storm raged across the island. The engines were resting in the shed. Listen, said Thomas. Can you hear a strange whistling sound? It's the wind blowing outside our shed, replied Toby. But I've never heard it like this before. Do you know, added James, if Gordon wasn't here now, I'd say it was him thundering by with the express. All the engines laughed. By morning, the fierce winds had gone, but the damage was done. Sir Topham had arrived. He seemed sort of off and wobbly. Uh, due to the storm, I have arranged for an engine to come to Sodor and help clean up. Um, it is a diesel engine from an Irish logging railway. Um, this engine has a special attachment that helps him clean up branches. I hope you all make him feel very welcome. Goodbye now. You live, you learn. That was unexpected. Seriously? What was that? When the new diesel arrived, the diesel was the first to greet him. Hi there. You're the new diesel, aren't you? Why, yes I am. And hello to you too. What's your name? The Diesel smiled. That was the first time anyone had asked him his name since he came to Sodor. My name's Andy. You? Uh, well, they call me Ten. I've never been given a proper name. Really? Wow. Yeah, but I do like to call my little hydraulic claw here Pinchy. <laughs> That's great. Pinchy. That's what I'll call you. Over the next few weeks, the Diesels became close friends. Eventually, they both knew that Ten was due back in Ireland. So Andy came up with a plan. You know, Pinchy, don't you get tired of seeing the way they treat that lady engine? You know, like she's all bad? Yeah, yeah, I do. I mean, we're just as good as she is, right? What makes her so special? Right then, hey, I got a plan. I'm due up in the quarry mine in half an hour. I was thinking maybe if I, you know, fake a little engine troubles, then I could get her to replace me. Then you, you know, follow her up there, and uh, whatever happens, happens. And the two engines sat together and schemed for a long time until they had the whole plan completely worked out. Then right on cue, Andy mysteriously broke down. And Lady was dispatched to fill in for him. Lady could not have heard the sound of Ten quietly purring up behind her. Making use of his hydraulic claw, he grabbed a hold of her backless cab and lifted her wheels off the ground. Then he surged forwards, throwing her off the front of the cliff face and into the ocean waters below. Are you certain of this? Yes, sir. I know what I saw. Well, I guess we got away with it. Uh-oh. You there, would, would you allow me to speak with Ten in private? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure.
What'd he say? Yeah, some workmen reported it. I'm off the island by tomorrow. <sighs> the next day, Ten was off the island, and Andy was alone on Sodor once more. He tried many times, speaking to many different diesels, attempting to restart some sort of revolution, but it was never successful. And then, one day in July, Sir Topham Hatt told him that Henry was due to return any day and that his services would no longer be needed soon. Andy left the island of Sodor, feeling that he had failed to accomplish his goal. Henry liked being a crew, but was glad to come home. A crowd of people waited to see him arrive in his new shape. He looked so splendid and strong that they gave him three cheers. Peep, peep, he whistled. Thank you very much. A few days later, Henry finally returned. He puffed up proudly to the turntable, displaying his new shape for all the engines to see. As he reversed into his old shed, the engines took solace in knowing that Sodor was finally back to normal.